Hey everybody, this is Jeff from My Cook Better and Your Mom, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make Chinese fried rice. You ready? Let's go! Alright, so we're gonna start with our rice, alright? I'm gonna start from scratch, but if you've, if you've got some rice leftovers, by all means use it, it's actually better. So, I'm going to cook for two people, so I'm gonna be using, like you can use any size mug that you want. I happen to like this particular size, so I'm sticking to it. So the ratio for our rice is going to be, as per usual, one of rice and one and a half of water, all right? All right guys, I'm very sorry about the quality, it might be a little bit different, but my camera ran out of battery, so yeah. Just for information, it's time to fry our stuff, all right? So, we are going to add some regular cooking oil. My pan is, has been preheated already, so we're gonna go in with a couple of teaspoons of, of oil. Not that much, really. And you are about to see why, though. I mean, in theory, I could have put a little bit more, but we're going to use our sesame oil so that's why I'm going a little bit easy on this we are going to add our chicken and we're going to turn this also like medium high heat and we're just gonna let our beautiful chicken rest for a second now the next step is to add garlic and ginger. I can tell you though, like those flavors like ginger and garlic are best friends. Seriously. So our chicken and a little bit of color start to add our mix. And this is going to bring everything to life. Okay, so two minutes have now passed. And now it's time to add our um, onion and our capsicum. We're going to add, um, it depends on what type of um, sesame seed, uh, sesame oil you've got. Mine is not that strong, so I'm just gonna go with like half a teaspoon probably. I'm going to add my oyster sauce. So with that I'm actually going with a full teaspoon and a teaspoon and a half and soya. With my soy sauce, you really have to be careful because, again, soy sauce are like one of those things that are not standard, like flavor-wise, so yours might be way different. Mine is like, I think it's not that salty. Um, well, it doesn't say, but it's not that salty, so I, I added, I would say like, two teaspoons you don't want this to have sauce. Why? Because that sauce is going to make your rice a little bit more difficult to cook. You want this to be uh, dry-ish, all right? This, this should take at least, I would say, three minutes, between two and four minutes. All righty, so exactly three minutes have passed. This is, pretty, this is looking amazing. And now it's time to go in with our green vegetables. At this moment though, this is totally optional, but I totally advise you to do that too. I like to add a little bit of sugar. You don't have to, but it will bring all the things together. So this is looking amazing, it smells really good. My rice is ready, time to go in. Ideally, you're supposed to wait until your rice is cold, but I'm starving though. I'm really hungry and... I think this is gonna be okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of extra taxes in there. In order to, I would say like, that's a full, that's a full teaspoon right there. Probably one and a half even. I'm going to add some bouillon, add some extra flavor to my, to my, uh, to my rice. And bring it to a low simmer because you don't want to burn your rice or you don't want it to, to become like some sort of a paste. At this moment, like, rice has cooked. 
your vegetables are cooked, your chicken has, um, is like looking and smelling really good, everything is perfect. You wanna mess up right at the, at the very last part of it. Now that this is ready, let's play it. All right guys, so there you have it, a very simple and delicious fried rice. I would say it took like 10 minutes total though, like after you chop your stuff. So it's very, very delicious, very simple. I strongly advise you to give it a try. So, speaking of which, let's give this a try. Oh my God, mm. This is really good though, I'm sorry. I know this is very rude, but hey. So if you like this recipe, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like that, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below. This is really good though. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, this is Jeff from My Be Better and Your Mom and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!